Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm trying out a game called Shroom and Gloom. It's found on itch.io. I'll leave a link in the description. This is a first person deck building card game. Can you believe it? Uh, in the bottom left, I have my energy, and it seems that there are two more cards in my deck. And on the bottom right, I have my HP, and I assume my discard pile, and this is my first time playing. So I'm learning a lot, but I unlock a door with a key. I can keep moving. I can gain two energy and draw one card three uses. I got another key to unlock. Okay, I get a card. I could refuse to take a card, which is a good option, but let me look. Table manners. Unplayable when a card is eaten, add a toothpick to your hand, replenish. I don't know what any of that means, but we'll be learning as we go. Forced growth. Increase all cards and hands damage by two. And exhaust. So that means it's a one-time use card. That's good to know. Or, unplayable, when four cards have been played this turn, draw another card, replenish. Replenish prob probably means when you draw this card in your hand, you automatically draw another card. So let's go Forced Growth. I have no idea if it's good. Like, it's, there's a lot to learn. Uh, there's Rest and Bash. I have maximum HP, so it doesn't really matter. Let's explore the first dungeon. There's the dudes. The dudes were fighting. Okay, so I see this now. Increase all cards in hand's damage by two. I got three things of damage. That seems nice. So, deal five damage. If fatal, make toasty. And you can see what they're going to do. This guy's going to attack for three once their turn comes. So, I want to kill you off. So, I got him. And then these guys are just going to block for three. So, what's this? Consume, heal five health. Ah, so these are mushrooms. Hence the name of the game. You want to... You, you get to eat the dudes after you kill them. It's delicious, delicious mushrooms. So I'm going to just end turn because I don't need to heal HP. And I, I could play it again later because he's going to hit me for six. I could make his target take three vulnerable, which means he'll be more susceptible to my attacks. So this should hurt him good. Oh, nice. So now I get to either heal, which isn't necessary, dig for treasure, or build a practice dummy to sharpen my attacks. Let's dig for treasure. Oh, that's a card I get into my hand. Okay, so how do I, I dig for treasure and then I get a new card here? Oh, interesting. Sure. So I get, uh, okay, deal four damage. If fatal, increase this card's damage by one. Or deal two damage, draw one card when used. Or deal eight damage, exhaust. If fatal, make toasty. So I noticed that when I made toasty, it only was edible afterwards. So this is good damage and healing, but this could grow. Here's the thing though, eight is a lot higher than four. Sure, four could eventually become higher than eight, but it's gonna take a while and I want good stuff now. I don't know if that's right. I mean, I have no idea. I could get another thing. I could deal three damage and a vulnerable. I could deal three damage to all or get increased a target card's damage by two, replenish and exhaust. I'm gonna go with three damage to all. Why not? And then What's up with this? I'll draw. I just don't know if that was right. Maybe that didn't make any sense to do right then. Oh, but now I got a bash to unlock this key. And it deals two damage to me. Because I didn't have a key on me. There's the map. How do I how do I access this map? Is it M? Oh, I have no idea. It doesn't tell me. I guess I'm just going through. This is a sweet environment. I guess I gotta keep bashing the locks. Just the polish of this game. So it seems like there's two different decks. One for actually battling and one for just passing through. So I will... Ooh. I get to wipe out two dudes if I go Force Growth into Scythe. So let's do that. Five damage to all. Goodbye. And they will dry nothing. And then this will retreat when their turn comes. Well, I have no more energy. So I'll let them retreat and I'll try to wipe them out. So let's deal some damage. I'm going to be one off with this. Unfortunate. I'm actually going to consume one of his friends. Even though I didn't get the full value out of it, it's still fine. I want to actually make toasty when I kill him. So now what I'll do is I'll deal eight. And then I'll make toasty here. I had to make sure I could make toasty. So here I could heal, not necessary. I could hunt for truffles. Which are, I assume, a type of mushroom. Or I could sharpen my attacks. What am I sharpening though? I don't have that much that's sharpening. So I'll hunt for truffles. Let's take a look. So I could gain one energy and draw one card. Consume. 
I actually don't know the difference between consume and exhaust in this game. Maybe consume means that it's just the card is removed for your, from your deck until the end of the battle. And then exhaust means the card is removed from your deck permanently. Or the other way around, and I'm not sure which. I'm going to definitely take the spicy truffle. Deal 5 damage to all if fatal make toasty. It has consume, but I don't really know what that means yet. Let's dig for treasure. What is this? Deal 8 damage. Linger. If I had to guess, linger probably means the card stays in your hand in after you turn if you have not played it. So usually you discard your hand at the end of a turn, but this is different. When another card grows, increase this card's damage by 2. Interesting. So if another card gets more damage or more something else, this also grows. Do you want damage twice? If fatal, increase this card's damage by 1. So this grows quickly. Deal four damage when you eat, increase this card's damage by one. So they're all growing. I want the fast growing card. Though it's very weak to begin with, it also is really good if you buff up something else. Here, this is unplayable when a card is eaten, gain an energy. Unplayable when a card increases damage, draw a card. Or trigger all if fatal triggers in your hand. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good for my, my growing card, because I can't guarantee that the growing attack damage will always grow, so that this could be a guaranteed way to do it. And I'm curious to see how it interacts with Toasty. And then, I must... Oh, well, I've only one use left on rations. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just bash and move on. Okay. It doesn't show me the deck too long. Or the, the map too long. I've just got to accept there's a lot of battles ahead of me. Is it jellyfish <laughs> is what it looks like. Okay, let's see. All right, time to figure out how the make toasty works with this card. Charred toasty consume heal three health. Awesome. And now this does two damage twice. So it still doesn't lethal anything, but still decent. And now I want to kill off this dude. And then what's this going to do on his turn? It will try to cast spell shield. And then they'll ignore attacks, I see. So then, if Fatal make Toasty. Time to find out what Exhaust does on this card. Can I look at my deck? No, I cannot. I just have a potential to consume, gain HP, I might as well. Delicious. And this card is just normal. This card is scary. Scaredy will retreat if damaged. Okay, see ya. So he's gonna retreat. And I'm not gonna heal right now because I could get more value later. See ya. And he's going to hit me for six. Okay. Let's make it take vulnerable. Let's, I guess, deal five damage to all. Oh, but it says it will ignore the next two per effects. Oh, great. So it's going to ignore this two, and it's going to ignore the next one effect. Now he's going to hit me for six. I don't think I'm even going to play this. Consume might mean it's removed forever. Ouch. And he's going to get more spell shield. Okay, well, here's how I'm going to play. I'm going to consume this for more HP. I'm going to um, hit him for five because he ignores it. And now hit him for six for real. And then just not play this because I don't have enough energy. So on we go. And again, he ignores the next two effects. Come on. Okay, well, I can again increase the damage of this card. Now, maybe this counts as two effects because it deals three damage twice. It does, but it doesn't matter because he's about to retreat, and I just couldn't kill him fast enough. Well, well fought anyway. How about I erect a toad shrine? Oh, that just describes me perfectly right now. An erect toad shrine. All hail the mighty toad. What? Okay, I guess it's not for here. Maybe I'll hunt for truffles here. Increase max health by 3, 99 uses, or heal 5 health, draw 2 cards. This seems pretty good, because I've had multiple times where I'm like, oh, I'm not going to heal because I'm not going to get max value. This can help me get max value. And then let's dig for treasure. 3 damage by all, increase target cards damage by 2, replenish exhaust. I'm going to increase a card's damage by 2, replenish also is probably helpful. And you're telling me I can't erect a Toad Shrine here. Well, let me advance into this then. Okay, and this shows my progress. So I have one more fight, a hard fight, and then regular fights, hard fight, regular fight, boss fight. Here we go. Time to erect the Toad Shrine. There's two possibilities for it. Lick the Toad and forget something. 
Ah, remove a card from my deck. Well, don't mind if I do. Why don't I get rid of this basic stab? It only does six damage. So I forget you. All hail the all-powerful toad. And I'll carry on. Because I have enough damage in my deck to not really miss the card. It's my weakest damage dealer. One thing I know about deck builders is that generally you want to remove cards from your deck. Not always, but generally you do. Okay, so increase target cards damage by two. So this one. And I will increase all cards in hand damage by two. Now I deal 12 damage. And I should probably heal HP. So what's this going to do? Ignore the next two effects. It will retreat if damaged. And then they're just kind of chilling. Oh, this is a hard fight, actually. There's a lot of spell shield. There's a lot of annoying stuff. Well, I'll save myself 5 HP by hitting you. You retreat. It's not great because it technically I could have hit him for a weaker and then gotten the same effect done, but it's fine. Maybe I could just wait for this scythe to deal damage to all. Let's now deal damage to all, except nothing affects him. That's great. Deal a little bit of, gain a little bit of max HP. Good, that gives me normal HP too. Okay, I was hoping I could make this fatal, but that's just not going to happen now, is it? Because what I should have done was hit this guy twice first. Just to, just because he would take two more damage this way. And I missed out on a little bit. Oh god. Oh, what the? Wait. He gave everything spell shield? Oh, this is terrible. This is truly awful. Dude, spell shield is insane. What am I meant to do? Okay, make him vulnerable. If that's an effect, it's already ignored. Like, this won't affect him. It's like I have to burn these cards. Exhaust and consume. I guess I'll use exhaust. Yeah, I'm just getting hit for eight. I don't want to consume and have it do nothing and get no benefit. This is awful. Oh, Lord more how is it because of this guy or is it just any cast of spell shield works on everybody i'm gonna literally die to this and this only deals with two and this deals with basically nothing and this doesn't even kill what the hell just happened well i just got sliced by some freaking mushrooms it's the worst feeling i okay the gray caps get you so here's what I don't know about the game. Respawn. That was absurd. Is it just a fresh game? Or is is there like some sort of meta progression? That's what I don't know. Let me use some keys to get this going. Take a card. Maybe I'd pick better? I don't know. I kind of liked Force Growth. It was probably the best card in my deck. But how about I try something different? How about I try Table Manners? When a card is eaten at a toothpick to my hand, replenish just to do something different. I won't use rations this time. I'll just hit the freaking lock and move on. Another game, another try. A new deck. Okay, so I'll hit you and then you'll try nothing. So because you're doing nothing, you're not a priority anymore. I'll s stab you and then I'll kill you and eat you eventually. And then I have no more energy. All right, run it back. Table manners. Okay, so now when a card is eaten, add a toothpick to my hand. Okay, so what's this look like? I assume this is eaten. Toothpick. Deal two damage, consume. Oh, okay, interesting. So first, let's give him vulnerable. And then I'll hit him for 10. That's pretty good. And then another 10. And then I think I'll just wipe him out. Very nice. Okay. So the toothpick gave me the lethal damage I needed, and here I'll just make him toasty. All right. So I could erect the toad shrine or build a practice dummy to sharpen my attacks. I still don't think I have anything that grows right now. I'll take this, and now I'll dig. I actually don't know if it has to be that order, but I'm guessing it does. I like vulnerable. Vul vulnerable seems very powerful. Although maybe there's a difference between one vulnerable and three vulnerable. I think I'm about to find that out. Here, increase damage by two. That seems really good. Or I could try Thirsty Mace for once. I feel that I would rather just grow a card. And then... I will hit the lock with my fist. And again, I will hit the lock with my fist. I'm starting to do this a lot more now. I like punching things. What can I say? Ooh! I'm getting hit for 20! Dude, maybe I should have just taken the uh, eight damage dealer. Honestly, this... Yeah, just take the damage next time. 
At least you cancel your attack if you're damaged. So I only really take 10 damage, so I'll make you vulnerable. I'll give this dude more damage and then get him. Oh, that kills him. Maybe I won't eat until I actually get the full 5 HP from this. Which should be now. Okay. When a card is eaten, add a toothpick to my hand. So, get him with the vulnerable. And then stab him. Okay. He gets 50% more damage with vulnerable. Maybe I should play like this. Hit you here. And then... Oh, I don't have enough... Mana! Okay, I don't have enough energy. I was hoping I could just hit you here so I could finish him off next turn, but it's fine. I'm okay with not killing him. Well, that was a mistake. Actually, is it though? It's about the same consequence, just knowing this hand. Like here, I kill him no matter what, and I'll eat, and I'll eat. Although maybe I should save my eating for another, like when I have toothpick in hand, I don't know. What I do know is that I don't have enough attack damage in my hand. Like, I don't have a damn thing for attack. So, I should maybe just get this out of my deck. Maybe not this one. Just because I'm not getting max value. But just so I can actually start killing them. So, now I go add some vulnerable. And then hopefully get them. Yeah, alright. Out of all things, build a practice dummy to sharpen my attacks. Although, I don't know if I want to use it right now. I think I'd rather rest. I did it in the wrong order. Yeah, I meant to bash first. Accidentally messed that one up. And now, well, I have two choices. Dig or practice dummy. I've never dug in this room, so I want to see if it's different. And I don't want to practice dummy until I can get more value out of it. When a toothpick is added to your hand, gain a rotten toothpick instead. Or I could take the mace. When another card grows, increase this card's damage by two. But I want to find out what a rotten toothpick is. I have no idea. And then we bash. So if I have the toothpick thing and the rotten toothpick thing in the hand at the same time, that would be nice. Okay, there. So this guy's gonna sing and make the enemies deal way more damage to me. Oh, awesome. That's just fantastic. Eat my nuts. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this deal two more damage so I can kill this guy and make him toasty. And then all I need to do is hit each of these dudes once and they don't attack me. So I save HP that way. And I don't want to consume because I want to consume while I could get a toothpick. So god, they're inspired, but thankfully they're not attacking. So here I could add a toothpick to my hand or a rotten toothpick. Well, let me try that. What is a rotten toothpick? Deal two damage, add one vulnerable to target. Oh good. Well, let me play like this first. I will make... I will make you toasty, and I hate to waste the HP gain of this, but I do want to gain some toothpicks here. I, I get to gain multiple toothpicks this way, so I'd rather do it like this. I know, I miss out on HP, but I have a lot of other ways to heal HP. I kind of want to just make them vulnerable, and then hit them here. Yeah, hit them here. Try to get them, and then... Maybe hit him again. Okay, so the more stacks of vulnerable I do to him, or have on him, the more damage is dealt to him. And do, does he lose one at the end of his turn? Yes, I see. We'll try reinforcement when their turn comes. Yeah, that's not good. I will make you toasty. And then make you take three vulnerable. And then add another vulnerable. Okay, that's pretty good. This time I won't consume. There's no toothpickery in my hand. And now I can get him good. So I'll first add a vulnerable. And then I will make toast. Cool. I could set up camp. I have no idea what that does. I am now curious. And here, I'll just dig for treasure. When a card is eaten, gain an energy. When a card increases damage, draw a card. And trigger all if fatal triggers in your hand twice. Twice, it sounds pretty good. Let's do that. And then can I set up a camp here? No, I gotta go through. Punch. Okay, this time I'm gonna make it farther, I'm sure. Set up camp. Okay, so just one of two spots. There's soup value. So this is locked. Do I add value to the soup like this? Oh. Heal five HP. Draw one card. Three uses. Persistent. And what's the next one? 
and vulnerable to all enemies. Three uses persistent. Or the unholy soup. Take five damage, draw two cards, gain one energy, six, six, six uses. Well, we gotta go for the satanic soup here. Absolutely. It's also the highest value one. I don't know if that really means it's good, but it seems interesting. And let's keep bashing. All right, so I think this is where I died last time, or at least close to here. So something's going to gain more damage. I think it'll be this one here. And how I'll go is give you vulnerable, deal extra damage to you, killing you, and stop your attack. Good turn. They're both attacking now, but only you are timid. I think the if fatal seems pretty good here. Do I get a bunch of- Yeah, I get a bunch of toastiness, which is awesome when I gain a rotten toothpicks to my hand. First, let me make you vulnerable times three. And then consume. And then make you some more vulnerable. And then, honestly, make you even more vulnerable. So you get dealt 250% more damage. Is that enough here? 250%? I think it is, actually. Yeah, good math. And now, I think I'll consume once more. Give him another thing of vulnerable. And now kill him for toastiness. What is this? Have one extra max energy. The next combat, draw a card. 10 damage itself, draw two cards. Gain one energy. Gain two energy, draw one card, three uses. Extra max energy sounds really good. I'll take that. And then I'll try a practice dummy. Oh, I have to do it elsewhere. I can dig for treasure here, I guess. Oh, deal six damage to all. Deal 18 damage if fatal draw two cards. 18 is a huge number, give me that. And then bash the lock. All right, so here... I can do cool things. I can build a practice dummy here. Select a card again and replenish. When you draw this card, draw an extra card. Oh. I'm gonna have it be this one. Because this one is uh, has vulnerable, and vulnerable relies on other cards being in your hand. So that will let me draw more cards, which seems awesome. And then, yeah, one extra max energy seems awesome. I can't dig for treasure because I'm out of energy here. But I love the two separate decks. I think it's a really cool mechanic. Okay, it's a mini boss. 90 HP, three attacks for three each. Wonderful. Just, just absolutely wonderful. Wait, this is pretty good though. Because here I can make it toasty. And what's nice is that taking damage doesn't matter. Because I'm just about to heal it back. And gain some toothpicks. So that seems pretty good. And then I will make you toasty as well. And then I think I'll even eat once more. Because what I want to do then is increase this card's damage by two. And then add vulnerable. And then add vulnerable. And then add vulnerable. And you know what? Another vulnerable for the road. 200% more damage. This should be like 24. Which seems sick. So I lose out on a little bit of HP gain, but... That's pretty big damage. And we're going to keep dealing more damage. Oh, give him more vulnerable? Six? Give him more vulnerable? That's 12 right there? Uh, too bad this doesn't do anything. I have no if fatal effects in my hand. I'll just consume for some HP. And then hit him for a lot. 18. And I'll just end turn. Maybe I carry over energy to my next turn. Oh, God. He's going to try reinforcements and three damage. But I should be able to get him, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this will get him for sure. Let me first, um, get myself a toothpick. And I don't think I'm going to take damage to draw. I'm just going to get him. 72! That's insane! Oh, my God. That card is the best card in my deck by far. Here, I will take the truffle hunt. Because I want to hunt for truffles in here. Okay. So, I could get, increase my max HP by 3 or 5 damage. All consume if fatal make toasty. This time, I'm going to take the damage. Just because I feel like I often need damage in my deck. Let's hit him and just walk right through the corpse of that guy. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to first bash the lock. Then I'll rest for my HP. Then I'll gain some energy. 
And then I can both set up camp and dig for treasure. I'll do this first. Now, I don't have to take a card. And maybe I won't. Apply season to enemy. On death, make a toasty. Exhaust and replenish. I mean, replenish means that the card is never bad. There's no downside to drawing the card because you always draw an extra card. Or this is a growing damage card. Whenever I eat, increase this card's damage by one. Oh, seems good, but I need to have the right cards in hand. And when another card grows, increase this card's damage by two. How about I take seasoning just because my deck seems to revolve around the idea of eating things. So I'm going to then set up camp. Oh, so I can throw other things in the soup. I don't want to throw any of these in the soup. They're all great cards. Even the stab is getting up there in damage. Yeah, no soup for me. I think I'm good. Unless if they actually do get replenished. I mean, I don't know all the intricacies. Like, I assume if you throw a card into the soup, it's gone forever. But I could be wrong. Well, yeah, this is the inspirational dude. Let me kill the attacker, though, first. So I'll, I'll season you. And then do vulnerable. So 150% more damage. So you will die and give me a toasty. I will draw some cards. Because now I get a toothpick into my hand. Ooh, if Fatal draw two cards. You know what? I'm going to kill off the Sing Sony. Dude, okay. And now I get Rotten Toothpicks instead of regular Toothpicks. And I'll eat to get a Rotten Toothpick. Maybe I can kill him this turn. I also get to increase a card's damage by two. I'm going to choose my If Fatal Make Toasty card. Because I think I'm going to kill you. Let's see. This would deal three. This would deal four. This would deal five. I could kill him right now. But then I lose my toothpicks. I think it's worth it. They're pretty weak cards when drawn on their own. I mostly want to have these cards um, get gotten for free. I don't want to draw them, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is for my outside deck. I don't want to deal 10 damage to self, draw two cards, gain one energy. Well, maybe, but probably not. Unplayable, replenish two. So draw two cards when this card is drawn. Or heal 10 health, three uses, replenish. I have enough healing in my campfire, I think. I'll just take the adventure pack for more card draw whenever I want. I'll dig for treasure, see what I get. I get the if fatal options. Oh, hold on. So trigger all if fatal triggers in your hand and draw two cards. Or just trigger all if fatal triggers in your hand. Interesting. But this one costs zero, this one costs two. Do I really want to pay two extra mana to draw two cards? Honestly, I don't want any of them. I'm not too impressed. Here, let's just get through. And now, I think I want to go for a practice dummy to sharpen my attacks. So let's see. Select the card to gain Energize. Gain one energy when this card is drawn. Oh, well, probably the expensive one. So I can play it more easily. Because, yeah, it's based off of when it's drawn. Yeah, it should definitely be the expensive one. That's nice and balanced. Well, I'll gain an extra max energy and draw a card. I could set up camp. I would have to use rations to set up camp. Honestly, I'm not too impressed by the idea of it. Let's just move on. All right. Uh, there's four of them. Okay, but some of, two of them will retreat if damaged. Good. You'll cancel your attack. So I mostly want to focus on you and just hit you once. I think I'll end up using spicy truffle. So let me have you become vulnerable. Also make you toasty when you die and i think i will spicy truffle up everything okay could deal damage and consume but i would rather if fatal make toasty here so now i can consume and get a toothpick i think i will consume and consume and then deal damage there and i'm not gonna burn this one it seems like a really good turn because two of them retreat and you'll probably die real soon i'm going to buff up my stab and not this stab. Maybe I'll just try to get rid of this stab at a campfire. I'll just make you strong and just accept that you suck. So, okay, card draw. All right. Search. Discard hand, then shuffle deck, then draw three cards. Or I could erect a toad shrine. That sounds pretty fun. First, though, I'll hunt for truffle. See what I get. More max HP or gain one energy, draw one card. Let's take the max HP this time. And go through here. I'm getting pretty far along the map. This seems nice. And now, I'm not going to rest. Let's just dig first. Ooh, if Fatal increases card's damage or increase target card's damage by four. Ooh, 
That seems pretty good. I'll take that. I'll wreck the shrine to the toad and forget something. Goodbye to this stab. This one's not even that great. It's weak. I forgot about it already. Uh, this is probably gonna be a hard fight. Oh, 180, 30 armor. Oh God, I'm getting dealt 11. Oh, yikes. Let's give myself max HP. No, sorry, I missed this. I'm getting dealt 13. I'll give you more damage. I don't even know what to hit. I don't know if I want to heal. Maybe I just do want to consume. Oh, but it's really bad. It's really bad coming up. Think about this. I might not draw this card again. I have 11 cards in my deck still, and I might be dead before I get a chance to see this card again, so I should just do it now. And then deal nine. I don't know, man. The middle guy is the scariest. He's probably going to be the hardest hitting unit, so I'll bring you closest to death. I could die this turn, though. 12! Good God. Trigger all if fatal triggers in my hand twice. So let me consider doing this. To draw two cards first. Or draw four cards, sorry. Okay, I get to gain some max HP. Good. I can make something seasoned. Actually, this might be a pretty good turn. I got a lot of options now. Oh, this is good. This is very good. Here's how this is going to start. I'm going to make you seasoned. And I'm going to stab you. So you're dead. I got a little extra HP. And then I'm going to just consume first more HP and more toothpicks. I'm going to make you vulnerable. 150% more damage. So this will kill. I'll get the draw cards. I'll be out of energy, but Unholy Suit can save me. Actually, it's... That was 45. Maybe that uh, was slightly wasted. I should have rotten toothpick there. I could have been a bit more efficient, but um, that's something I'll learn with time, I'm sure. Now I'm going to... Oh, give myself an energy with Unholy Soup. Okay, so I'm just not drawing. I got the energy. So now I can only play one mana's worth of card. So it's gonna look like this i'll go vulnerable and then i'll go vulnerable and then this still won't kill it it'll be very close but with vulnerable once more and then toasty i can now feel a little better about this do i play rotten toothpick i don't know this is such a waste but here's the thing i don't want to draw this card raw because it's so low impact compared to other cards i can draw so i think i am just going to use it right now and accept that a little bit's wasted. Okay, I'm still not dead this turn. Good. Okay, I'm gonna hopefully kill this guy with flash. This guy has effectively 21 HP. So this times, this with 150% extra damage does get me to 21. So I am going to eat and then, or yeah, make vulnerable then kill. Now I could eat or I could unholy soup. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Got some interesting stuff here. More HP. Good. So I'll eat first. I got just a regular toothpick. I'll add some vulnerable. And then I'll just deal the damage here. To the armor, unfortunately. And then this doesn't even kill. Or this doesn't even... Yeah, this isn't even close to killing. But at least I get a little bit of progress. Don't kill me. Okay, good. He's just going to summon reinforcements. That's not too bad. Here, I will trigger all fatal effects in my hand twice for a lot of health regen. And then I will give roast plus four damage. 13 seems pretty good. I do want to eat. Yeah, I think I'll just consume. I'll just heal up. Even though I don't get full value out of it, it's still amazing. 13 damage. And now I feel really good about this fight. Maximum HP. Oh, he resummoned all of them. For some reason, I kind of expected him to just resummon two of them. But nope, he resummoned all of them. Um, crap. Okay, give me some more max HP. Ah, I gotta remember. I should have drawn cards first. Because I could have gotten the Rotten Toothpick instead. I messed that one up. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna take 12, 18, 22. Maybe I should just focus down this guy. Because of his, his um, power to resummon things. What? Battery zero. <gasps> oh, I can't play this anymore. I don't have enough... Battery. I don't, I don't even know what battery meant. It's a phone camera, so my phone is dead. Oh, that's terrible. 
Well, maybe I should kill off one of his minions then. Give me two cards here. Okay, so I could get some more toasty effects in here. That seems very good. I don't know if I have a maximum hand size, though. Let me play like this. I'll hit you now. Give you a vulnerable. Yeah, I have no idea if I have a maximum hand size. If my maximum hand size is 10, then I'll only be capable of gaining two toasties. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play as if I have a maximum hand size of 10 and get this out of my hand first. And then this. And now gain four toasties. And I get to gain some rotten toothpicks here is the whole idea. And I am going to neglect the health and just go for the rotten toothpicks. So I can give this guy way more vulnerable. And just let that stack. Five stacks of vulnerable. 250% more damage. So now this should be epic. But I'd rather play this. This is 13 damage. So we do a lot here. 46. Good. And that's my turn. Good god. There's a lot to think about this. There, this is actually a really cool uh, deck builder. I thought it'd just be a gimmick. The gimmick being it's first person, but it's pretty well designed. Okay, more max HP. Still don't have any battery. This card's useless. 18 damage. Does not kill this guy. Okay, give me some cards, please. Okay, there's some interesting options here. Like, maybe I should just attack the big dude. So let me play like this. I will trigger all if fatal affects my hand twice. Give myself a rotten toothpick. More vulnerable. More vulnerable. And then a ton of damage. 72. And then this should be enough to kill this guy and consume. I don't finish him off yet oh because these dudes are all still alive but at least i got rid of the big dude and healed some make you vulnerable and then carry on or rather just get the card out of my draw pile all right this feels good now that i've got the big guy dead yeah let's trigger the if fatal effect for sure okay how big is my hand one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve cards in my hand, so there's no ten card hand limit. It's good to know. Let's give myself even more max HP. And even more regular HP and more regular HP and more regular HP. And suddenly I'm back to max. I am obscenely powerful right now. Let me do this. Hit you with a toothpick. Let me draw some cards. And they're going to retreat when their turn comes. Interesting. Let me hit you. And then hit you again, and then kill you for toastiness. I could always draw more cards, right, with Unholy Soup? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, now I'll consume more. I think I just get him this turn. Just hit him, and hit him, and hit him. And can I make him toasty? 150% more. So I said no, I'll just stab him. Love to see it. So I can dig for treasure again. Or I could just not take any of these. It's like, oh, I'm very happy with the cards I have. I could take Bandage, because it has Replenish on it. Maybe it gives me more opportunities to heal. And then I will dig. Drawing card seems really good with my deck. I want a big hand. So I'm going to have the draw two cards that is attached to one cost, instead of the two cost and the trigger all, if fatal, triggers in hand. So I'll do just card draw. And then Bash. Wait, wait, where were we? Oh, we're getting close. Oh, we're getting real close. Okay. So now I want to practice dummy for sure. I could gain, have a card gain vulnerable, where vulnerable enemies take 50% extra damage per stack. It could be this one. Because here's the thing. I would rather have all my vulnerable on a single card just to kind of get all the vulnerable down and then deal the damage instead of slowly dealing more damage with more vulnerable hopefully this doesn't like hopefully it stacks is what i'm hoping for it better not be like oh it already says gain one vulnerable so nothing's changed well, i guess i won't find out until the actual fight now will i now i did want to first bash and then gain two energy i have two more uses still so i'll, I'll do this and i will have an extra max energy and then next time I'll use the key. Can I use the key here? No. I'll set up camp now. Throw stuff in the soup. I don't want to get rid of either of these. Both of these cards are insane. I was hoping I could get something that was like... 
bad for my deck and that I'd be willing to throw into the soup, but no, these are both good. So, no thanks. And now, well, there's three uses. I might as well do one of them right now. Just because it looks like there's not many fights left, I might as well get that out of the way. So let's see. Oh, spell shield. I hate spell shield. This is going to apply spell shield to freaking everything. But I should probably kill some of them. Shouldn't die. More max HP. And then let's take some damage. Ooh, okay. Hold on. This is looking good right now. Let's get some toasties in my hand. I get some toothpicks when I eat. Let's first kill you. And then make you run away. And frankly... Well, I might as well just make you... Right. Ignore the next effect. And then have this ignore. And then deal 10 damage. And actually, I can get him this turn. So I think I will. Just go bam and bam and bam and bam. And you're going to run away. So that's good enough. Let that be. Easy fight. Now... I'll take another... Ah, I don't even know what I want. Take another bandage just because it says replenish. And then I think I'll hunt for truffles. They seem really cool. So either heal 5 HP, draw 2 cards, or gain 1 energy, draw 1 card. I like draw 2 cards. 2 is greater than 1. Then let's hit the lock. Wait. Oh, and next up is the boss fight. Alright, this one's for all the marbles. So I've got to pull out all the stops here. First... I will bash. Oh, that's spooky. And then I will erect a shrine to the toad. And then I want to forget this guy. It's only five damage. Yeah, five damage is not that high. But wait, this has no battery. So maybe I should get rid of this. This is absolutely nothing. I did not realize how little options or how long this card could last. So I'll get rid of you. As far as I know, you're useless. But there's probably like a charge battery card that I just never got. And then I think I'll just heal the HP here. Go into the fight with max HP. Oh, this is a long hallway. Okay. Some real shit's about to go down. Oh my god, 500 HP. And it's inspirational. Good god, okay. Ooh, I've got some good options here actually. Let me first draw two cards. Okay. And then, ooh. I want to increase the stabs damage by four. Just to kind of spread out the buffs a little bit here. I don't need to play this yet. I'll just kill you and make you toasty. Am I going to play seasoning? No, that has exhaust and replenish. I'll save that for a better one. So here. And then I don't need to do anything else. Yeah, I'm out of energy. Yeah, I don't want to play any of these yet. But soon, now that I'm taking damage, now I kind of want to. Okay. 18 damage coming in. Great. Let's draw some cards. That's good. I got toothpicks in my hand. More max HP. Good. I should have drawn cards first. My mistake again. Because I did get the rotten toothpicks. Man, one of these days I'll get it right. Well, let me put minor growth on roast then so it's not useless. I do want to make you toasty if I can help it. Okay, good. And two vulnerable showed up here. I love it. Let me play like this. I'll trigger all the if fatal effects in my hand for this extra toasty. And then I wanted to do... Oh, this has 30 HP. I wanted to consume. Then with rotten toothpick, start turning up the heat. So hit him for a little bit here. And then... Finish him off, now that he's toasty. Now I can start eating? Oh, I should have applied seasoning. Oops. Yeah, because now I want to start get, getting to go on the vulnerables. Begin the vulnerable stacking. The stacks gotta start early, and then they'll add up over time. And honestly, no, this has replenished, so I don't care. Now, just get rid of you, get rid of you. And that's all I can do take 18 that's hopefully fine okay i don't get to draw two cards here i will choose to draw two cards more max hp okay not fantastic but i guess i'll just deal some damage up top spell shield is going to be annoying and the reinforcements are also going to be annoying i'll just hit you for as much as i can 
And I won't do this, probably. I think I will. And they're back. Okay, I only get hit for eight from this guy, but the other guys are scarier. Okay, I'll draw some cards first. So, Unholy Soup. Ooh, max HP. More card draw. Okay, things are looking better now. Because now I get to trigger a bunch of fatal effects. How big can my hand get? Huge. It can become huge. Okay, so this is going to give me the nice toothpicks. And the spell shield is up, so let me use this first. That's two effects right there. Two for the price of one. Keep dealing damage to you, and honestly, I'm not too afraid of their damage. So I'll just keep stacking vulnerable right now, up top. Oh, but the inspiration's scary. I don't know. Like, maybe I should kill these off still, just delaying this guy's effects. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, so get rid of both spell shields. Give me a toasty. I don't think I'm going to be able to play this one. So again, two effects. Apply seasoning here, and then... And then I'm going to choose 14 damage here. Get the toasty, and I'm going to keep stacking. Keep stacking vulnerables. And then I think I'm going to stack vulnerables again. Instead of this for 7 damage. Just more vulnerable. And I'll get them good. You'll cancel attack if damaged. You're not even attacking. You fool. Alright, so now you'll deal get dealt 300% extra damage. That seems good. But I gotta deal with this guy first. 10 damage. More max HP. That's awesome. I think I'll take more cards. Cancels attack if damaged. So maybe that can be helpful to me. Let's take some toastiness. How about that? And I'll just hit him once so he cancels his attack. And then keep healing and keep stacking. Keep stacking. More vulnerable. More vulnerable. Now I have only one mana. So here... This time I'll stab. For 77! Absolutely... Oh, I missed one. Oops. Good order. Great order. I just didn't see the card. That's all that happened. Doesn't matter though. He's at less than half HP. It's all good for here. Alright. Give me some of these. Yes. Give me some more cards. Give me some more max HP. Give me some more if fatal. For huge hand. Do I get the good toothpick? I do get the good toothpick. I'm pretty sure I can wipe him out this turn. I'll just accept the fact I'm taking 10. Because that doesn't really matter to me. Just stack vulnerable on this dude. Just keep stacking it. I want to see how big a number I can get. 650% more. Why don't I even do more? 750% more of 18 damage. Um, Actually, though, that's kind of worse than just going stab and roast. Because this adds up to, <laughs> to 27. So I should probably do it this way. Oh, he's dead. He's so dead. He's so dead. 111 is beautiful. And I can cancel this guy's attack. He's done for. Next turn, it's over. The mega damage. It's beautiful. It's so glorious. GG. It is mine. Mushroom key. Unlock single use. Through the mushroom door. Wait, is this just the first floor then? I assume there's more challenges up ahead. Or maybe because this game is kind of just in early development. Maybe there's not too much more. I don't know. But uh, it's a golden hallway looking like. What lies beyond. I don't know, man. It's kind of freaky here. Pretty empty. Probably the end of the game? Yeah, end of the game. Uh, apparently, this game was actually developed in a week. So maybe they'll update it with more things eventually, like more floors, more bosses. But that is basically the gist of the game. It seems really cool. I'm glad I could beat it. Once again, that Shroom and Gloom, if you guys want to check it out, there should be a link down in the description. It's not even sponsored, it's just, it's not on Steam, so I, I figured I should give a link. Thank you all for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next variety game. Have a wonderful day and peace.